In this video, we're going to show you how to install the dual lock actuator on your Ford Explorer located in the passenger side front door. Behind the door handle pull here, there's going to be a little plastic cover. We're going to use a small pocket screwdriver here to go ahead and get underneath there and pop that out. Set that aside. Behind the door handle pole, there is another little cover right here. Pocket screwdriver. Just go into the side of it. Gently pry that out. Set that aside. And right up on the A-pillar area here, we want to go ahead and remove this cover. We can use our plastic trim tool. Going in right behind it. And just kind of slide that out. And what you're doing is you're dislodging the three little metal clips here. Set that aside. Right behind the door handle, there is a 10 millimeter bolt. Loosen and remove that. Behind the door handle pull, there are two 10 millimeter bolts. On the bottom of the door panel, there were two seven millimeter screws. We'll go ahead and loosen and remove those. Now we want to grab the lower portion of the door panel here and we want to pull it towards you. What we're doing is we're dislodging the plastic push pin locks. Once you have the perimeter all disconnected, we're going to grab the door panel, lift it up. Now on the inside of the door panel, we have a series of wiring harnesses here we need to separate here. So there's going to be little push tabs. Going to push in and pull down. I'm going to do this for all of the connectors on here. Now the last thing we have to disconnect is the door handle unit here. Now there's two little spring clips here. We need to compress those there and then we'll pull that cable out. You can use a pair of pliers. Gently compress those and pull that out. I'm going to slide this out, bring it off to the side, and remove the barrel end. Set the door panel aside. Now upon removal of the door panel, you're going to locate these plastic pins here. You're going to see a series of these all the way around the door. Sometimes they might pop off, like one of mine did here. And right down here is the spot that it popped off of. And all you have to do is slide that into position and push that down. Now, if any of these should break, you can go ahead and source some new replacements, probably at the dealer. Now, on our door panel, we want to go ahead and remove our water shield here so we can gain access to the back side of our door latch mechanism. Now, this here is normally a reusable adhesive securing this here. Now, if you want, you can gently pull this. What I choose to do is use a new razor blade. I'm gently going to cut the adhesive as you pull on it gently, you can normally slide the blade right behind it without scratching the door or cutting the plastic. Take your time with this here. Now at this point, to gain access to our door latch, we're gonna go ahead and power our window to a full upright position. We just grabbed our door panel again and we hooked up the connector to the backside of the window switch. And then we just tap that button on the dash to power it up. Simply raise this up. 
shut off the ignition. And then we'll just connect that connector again on the back side of the switch and set the panel aside again. Now right here, there is a T25 Torx bit screw. Got to loosen and remove that. Now inside the door, we have two electrical connectors. There's one here and there's one up top. You want to simply press the little pinch tab on that and pull these connectors off. Now this wire comes up and it's held in place by a little clip on the front side. We're just gonna pinch this with a pair of needle nose pliers and push that harness clip down, get that out of the way. Now inside the door, there's this plastic glass guide with the seal in it. And right about here, there is a retainer securing the glass guide to the actuator unit. It's just beside this connector right here that we disconnected. So we're going to have to reach in here with some small needle nose pliers and try and pinch this and separate the glass guide from the actuator itself. All right, we'll get that separated. Now on the bottom side here, we have this green retainer clip for the rod itself. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And this is like a clam shell type connector. So you're going to grab the outside edge and pull that. Sometimes you can use a pocket screwdriver to get up in there. So we have that opened up and pull that rod aside. You can see that I have that separated. And on the outside here, we have three T25 Torx bits holding the door latch unit. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove these. Let's remove this cable from the actuator itself. I'm gonna grab the cable and this is gonna pull out towards you. So just hold on to the unit and just gently pull towards you. And you can see the cable that goes in. You're gonna pull that rocket back and dislodge that little hook right there. Now on the top section here, we're gonna use our pocket screwdriver and we need to separate the actuator from the glass guide unit itself. So we go up between these two and we gently pry it. And that is gonna separate the top. Now we need to take the unit, the actuator itself, and the glass guide itself goes in and then down. There's actually a hook on it that supports this. So we need to kind of lift up on this. Get it unhooked from that glass guide. Easier said than done. This is a little bit of a slightly complicated task here. With the unit out, you want to go ahead and remove the actuator rod. You're going to slowly rotate it out and pull that out like so. Take the actuator rod, insert that, rotate it up and in. When we insert this here, I want to go ahead and get the window glass guide hook into here. So we're going to put it in horizontal, insert it, and rotate it up and in. And as we rotate this up and in, the top right here will snap into the upper portion. We'll clip and lock that in a position. I 
with the bottom hook in, I'm going to go ahead and install the upper into place we're going to feed our rod up through let's go ahead and get that rubber seal seated here flip that up into lock position with the actuator in place we want to go ahead and get our power connector right here that we had separated earlier pressed in. Now we can go ahead and push the actuator back and get that anchored onto the door. Let's go ahead and get our screws in place here. Now let's go ahead and snug these down. And once those bottom out, you definitely want to make sure that they're good and tight. So that's bottomed out good quarter turn should snug that right into place with the actuator installed we'll go ahead and line up our rod here that fits right into the the clamshell clip and go ahead and snap that clip over lock it into place install the little hook side into the actuator unit itself. Bring that cable up and put this cover in and snap that on. Install the screw supporting the plastic window guide channel here. Just snug that gently. Install your electrical connectors on the actuator. Line that up and push that on. And do the same for the upper one here. Go ahead and line up that water shield. Now this material is normally a self-adhesive. If yours isn't working, you can simply use nice heavy duty tape. Install the connector on the bottom side here. We have our gray connector here. Line that up, pop that on. Snap that in. Hook up the speaker wire. Now we can install our cable end. that in lock it into place now bring our door panel up get our door lock button lined up into the door I want to make sure that our door sets right on the top of that sill plate and then we can go ahead and push our buttons in I'm going to do this all the way around the perimeter Run your hand around the perimeter of the door panel. Make sure that the panel is seated up against the door shell itself. Now we can go ahead and install our hardware. Install the mirror cover here with the little triangle metal clips. Line those up into that panel and just push it in. Install this upper screw. Go ahead and gently snug that down. Install the two screws in the lower portion. Go 
Installed with two seven millimeter screws at the bottom of the door panel. Just snug those down gently. Install the cover in the pull handle, the little tabs pointing upward. Snap that into place. Then we can go ahead and get the other cover put on the pull handle area. The curved part goes up to the left. Insert that in, press it in, and you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.